Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy and I'm um, having a little bit of a bad day here. I'm standing on top of this little caravan surrounded by crocodiles. Um, but not only crocodiles, there's wolves as well have joined in. <laughs> and um, I think I'm probably going to end up as some sort of snack for a wild animal because of course in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install the amazing crocodile mod by Hunter Z. So let's come out of this so that we can... Uh, can stop that noise um, and I'm going to show you how to install it on your community server um, so let's get rid of that now of course I'll put a link in the description below this video so you just want to subscribe to crocodile it has no dependencies which is absolutely fantastic um, and then what you'll want to do is if you fire up the daisy launcher it will then download the mod to your local computer. Um, so let's go and find it. Where are we? Crocodiles is at the top because I've already loaded it in. There it is. So there's Crocodile. And then if you want to know where it is on your local computer because we're going to need it to upload it to our server, click on little three dots, open folder in Windows Explorer, and it will appear here. Now this will then take us to our workshop folder. So this is inside Daisy. Sometimes this can be fit, hidden, so it can be a bit difficult to find, but if you just change the settings for the folder, so it's uh, here, we'll, we'll uh, make sure we can see it. Now, if we have a look through, we will see Crocodile is here. What we're gonna do, if we, have a, if we have a delve inside, we can see what we get with the mod. Now the important things are obviously the key, which we're gonna install on our community server and our XML configs. Now this one is, a, these are always a little bit complicated to set up, um, these um, files. So we're going to go through them fairly slowly. Um, and if for some reason the crocodiles don't appear on your server, then just go back through and it could be uh, a, a mistake you've made where you haven't copied and pasted the right thing. Um, one of the most important things to remember is when we upload the territories file, to our server. We've got to make sure that we change its name to just Croco Territories with no underscore Cherneris afterwards. So these files include, and if you open up all these files in your favorite text editor, you will see we have a types.xml. So this includes um, all the extra bits that um, you can do with the crocodiles because it's not just the crocodiles once you've killed the crocodile you can do stuff with its hide and the leather from it which is uh, which I won't I'll let you discover that as you go along there's an so we need to add the types to our types.xml we have a events.xml um, text snippet uh, xml snippet that will uh, make the animals spawn in we have a cfg event spawned xml entry now you might say well that doesn't look very long rob that's right because with animal spawns where they spawn isn't controlled by cfg event spawns it's controlled by the territory file but we still need to put an put a entry into cfg event spawn so the game knows that it should be spawning this event and we've got a CFG environment.xml entry that we're going to add. And this, this just tells the server where it should be looking to um, find out where it should be spawning the crocodiles and what behavior they should have when they spawn in. Um, and then we have the, the Croco Territories Chernus. In this case, we're going to be installing our Chernus map. Um, and to the, um, which we will be changing the name of as we go along. So fire up your uh, daisy launcher let it download the mod um, and then what you want to do is you want to fire up your ft pre program in this case i'm using filezilla as you can see here um, and i'm in my workshop folder here on the left hand side if you're trying to get to this uh, in your ftp program and you're not sure where it is where we previously opened up the mod here um, within Daisy server if we just left click up here at the top it gives us the address and we can right click that and say copy go back to our FTP program left click there paste press enter and that will take us to exactly where we want to be which is here um, probably not we don't want to be in Daisy server we want to be in the workshop that not like that so as you can see on the right hand side I've connected to my server so the first thing I want to do is I need to upload um, 
crocodile so making sure that that's selected there and when then we left click that right click upload that will then upload it to here which you can see already so that has already uploaded the crocodile take it's a, it's a big file it might take a, a while if you're on a slow internet connection then we want to open up on the left hand side this particular folder here and we want to click on the keys folder there because this gives us the key that we want to enter and if we scroll down on the on the right hand side and open up the keys folder on the server we can then down at the bottom we can just left click that right click upload and that will upload the key if you've previously installed any of hunters animal mods you'll probably get a thing saying this key already exists so that that will do that way then um, what i think you should probably do is go over to your um, server and go to the uh, settings on nitrado it's kind of in general settings and we want to change the additional mods now if you've got access to the servers dot bat or batch file the the executable well it's kind of like an executable that starts the server and tells it what mods it should be um, starting with this is where that is and as you can see here on my uh, on nitrado you, we don't have access direct access to the dot bat so i just need to add uh, at crocodile to here so i've got um community framework zombie admin tools vpp admin and then at crocodile and then you would save that you should probably stop the server actually at this point it's, it's good uh, best practice to do that um, and that will make sure that when the server starts it's going to start with the crocodile mod however what we need to do now is we need to edit the relevant xml's so as we did before within the xml files that we looked at you just want to open up all of these in your text editor notepad plus plus i'm going to do and then we can kind of edit them in order now within your ftp program you should be able to do this and it's fairly simple so on the right hand side go down and look for the missions folder so this has got all the missions that run on your server now this is a churnerous uh, server so we want to edit the um, churnerous mission so we can just say plus there double click that and so the first thing we want to edit is the types.xml we want to add all these to my types.xml so what i can do the types.xml is, is within your db directory so double click on db there's types.xml so i can right click and i can say view edit this will then download it and it will open up in my favorite text editor which just happens to be notepad plus plus so here it is here so what i can do now is i can click on here now what you want to do is ignore this types thing at, right at the top we just want to start off here where it says type equals animal crocodile dark and then scroll down to the bottom and then we want to stop there we don't want to go into the closing types brackets we just want these so we can right click copy that go over to the file that we've downloaded Control v to paste it in and then we save it and what will happen is when we go back to our uh, FTP program will say this file has changed. Do you want me to upload it? And you say yes. That will then upload it there. So then we can go back and we say so the next file that we opened up was was events.xml. So that's cool. So we go back to our FTP program. So we're already in the right directory. Right click, view, edit. And just make a little bit of space at the top underneath the events. And then we just copy this bit here. And then we can go back to here and then we're just going to paste it at the top one of the things you may want to do <laughs> is, is you can put these in alphabetical order if you want i've just put it at the top for ease of stake ease of um uh, making the video but you might want to put it underneath the uh, element no pq put it underneath animal cow i guess and then we press save go back to ftp program and say this file has changed do you want me to upload it we say yes so that's now uploaded so the next one is cfg event spawn so you can see we've just got this little snippet to put on there now cfg event spawns if we go back to our ftp program it's actually up so if we go up one and we look for cfg event spawns it's in the root directory of the mission cfg event spawns there it is and we can right click view edit see that's opened up there and what you do is if you scroll all the way down to the bottom you'll see the entries for the animals and the buses actually so what i'm doing is i'm just going to make a little bit of space at the bottom just there go back to the cfg event spawns and i'm just going to right click that uh, copy i'm just going to control v that into there 
There we go. So we just hit save, go back to FTP, say this has changed. You want to upload it? Yes, please. So that's now uploaded there. And then the next file is cfgenvironment.xml. So back to here. And cfgenvironment.xml is in the same folder. So, so look, so there it is cfgenvironment.xml. So right click, view edit. So it's opened it up in my uh, editing program. So if we have a look at now, this one's a little bit, bit more difficult to put in. There's two parts to it. There's that bit, file path equals env, env croco territories.xml. So we copy that and then we'll just put it underneath the bears there, like so. And then the next bit is this bit, territory equals herd down to territory. So we copy that and I tend to just put it down, put it underneath bear. We can leave spaces, it's all right. There we go, so that's there. And if you just sort of compare the entry with the existing ones, you can see it's in the same um, vernacular, if you like, so in the same syntax. So we can save that, go back to FTP. Now you want to upload this, we can say yes. So that uploads it. Um, so now we've got the Croco Territories Churnerist.xml. Now, as I said, we don't want to upload this as Croco Territories Churnerist.xml, or we can do, and then we're going to change the name. So what we do is we go back to our FTP program. Now, the territories files for the animals are actually inside the env directory. So if we double click on there, you can see there's all the territories for all the other animals. So if we now go into here, XML configs, and go down to here. So there's croco territories.xml. So we can make sure that we click, left click there, left click there, right click upload, and croco territories is there, but it's the wrong name because if we go back to our CFG uh, environment.xml, we'll see that the file usable is just croco territories, not croco territories underscore churnerous. So that's why we need to change it. So here we can just left click it, left click it again, just get rid of the churnerous bit, leaving the .xml bit, press enter, and that has now been renamed. So there we go. So let's just double check that we've done everything. So if we go back to the XML files, CFG environment we've done, CFG event spawns we've done, uh, the Croco territories we've uploaded, the events we've uploaded, the types we've uploaded, we've done the key, we've done the uh, .bat entry, and that's it really. Um, now, as you're going along and you are editing files, uh, for example, say if you're doing this on a local server, it can often be a very good idea to go to somewhere like uh, xmlvalidation.com just to check those files. Um, just to make sure everything's working. But as far as I'm done now, everything's uploaded, everything's in the right place. Just save the changes there, and all we have to do is restart the server, and these wonderful crocodiles will start to appear. Now, do remember that the crocodiles are amphibious, so they will chase you through the water. That's half the fun of them. And you may well want to have a bit of fun putting some different... Um, uh, territories coordinates in to have them spawn in all sorts of weird and wonderful places and please do explore with what you can do with the hide from a crocodile because there's some very special stuff that you can uh, craft from what you get from when you kill a crocodile as well but there we go thank you very very much to hunter z for creating another amazing animal mod um can't wait to see this on something like say a jungle churners that would be cool wouldn't it um as well and uh yeah well done um and hopefully you found this video useful hopefully it's helped you to install it on your community server and if you have hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon